Yo, what is going on? It's your boy Croxy here, and today, today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to beat the Defiled Amygdala solo, because everyone has trouble with this boss. I don't know why, and actually, I know why, and that's the reason why I'm making this video, so I can show you how to beat this boss solo. Now, actually, Amygdala is actually an easy boss. Why did I say actually twice? I don't know. I don't know. I said I don't know again. God damn it, this video is going amazing. Okay, so the reason why this boss is hard is mainly because of co-op. This bo boss becomes harder in co-op because the boss needs to focus on you every time. You, the boss has to focus on mainly one person, and that's it. That's just about it. You Co-op actually makes this boss harder. You, you, you guys know it. So I'm going to show you the tricks on how to do it solo. And when you enter, you want to be ready for an attack. And just back up so you can buff. That's one attack that you can punish. We're going to only go for head attacks. That's something you cannot punish. You want to walk on this pathway right here. So we're going to wait for another head attack. There are probably two or three of them in phase one. Okay, that's one of them. So you want to dodge. One, two, three, and you want to back up. All right. For the laser, you want to unlock and you want to run. And then lock onto the head again. All right. Again, another laser. So you want to unlock and run. Unlocking and running is probably the best strategy. Okay, that's another slam. Dodge. One, two, and three. Okay, now this is another attack you can punish. Dodge! And then you run in, and then you do one. Now when you get this, you back up. Oh god, I messed that up. Well, I got the visceral. So you want to go close and get a visceral, that's it. It's as simple as that. Now I think this is phase two. Okay, now in phase two, going for the head is kind of risky. So you're going to want to just back up and go for the hands. If you can go. One, two, and then you back up again. Buff if you're not buffed. And that was a bad time to buff. Jesus. Okay, again, that's another attack you can punish. You go close and just hit the whack of the hands. So now we're going to only go for the hands because it's kind of hard to go for the head. Unless you really get an opening. I think this is one attack you can go for the head. If that lasts longer than... Alright, so now again we go for the hands. Which I didn't get a single hit on. Okay, this is another head attack you can go for. When she does that. Now you want to back up again? Okay, this is another laser you want to dodge. The second laser, pretty much. Alright, this cannot be punished. You cannot punish this attack. At all. Alright, Amy. Dodge backwards. Hit the arm. You, you'll be breaking the arm pretty soon. Okay, this is another head attack you can punish. I think now we enter phase 3. Oh, we got another Visceral. That is nice. Okay, look at that damage right there. You can actually kill Amygdala, but I'm going to show you the jump strat. So now after she goes into phase 3 and rips off her arms, you just want to go behind the tail. Charge R2. And hit the head. Again, it's always going to land on your head. Look. Stay behind the tail. Bait the jump. Charge an R2. And hit the head. And there you go, guys. That is how you kill and make down, my baby. Level 120. I'm not using any Carol runes. I'm using weapons with gems that you can get really, really easily. I mean, these drops are really good. And it's pretty simple. Phase 3 could actually be a little bit longer. But it's safer. You, all you have to go is behind the tail. And then you just bait the jump. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.